their limits. If you allow yourself to walk, you are quitting. If you think I'm a quitter, you're sorely mistaken. And as tempers reached a boiling point, Kim opened up to her team to earn their trust. I have body image issues. I understand where you guys are coming from when you're judged because of the way that you look. I feel like I saw the real Kim. At the Escalator Challenge, the rejuvenated red team stepped up their game. Kim, you got that! Go, Marty! And Pam rose to the top as the blue team's losing streak continued. Ah! Give me the dollars! The big red machine rolled on at the weigh-in. Yeah! You lost 10 pounds! And crushed the blue team, forcing them to send a player home. That's why I chose Melinda. So far, the teams have lost a total of 496 pounds. How much weight will they lose this week on their way to becoming the biggest loser? There's some dramatic changes in my body. My whole body's just kind of shrunk up. We lost a player, and now it's five people on each team. But uh, I'm anxious to get to the gym and get the blue team back on track. Oh, my God. No way. Wow, this is going to make for a fun week. Yeah. Gym closed with a padlock. Is that a blessing? No, it's not a blessing, it's a curse. So that's gonna mean like we gotta try and find out how to work out like without the gym for like the week. My first reaction, oh dear God, Kim's gonna make us hike. I um, make Alaska very, very sad in the sense that I hate the great outdoors. Can you get a window open, Bobby? Yeah. There you go, Bobby got it. I never really did think that I would ever be crawling through a window to get into the gym. Here they are. Uh -oh. No, you can't go through the window. What's going on? Kim's closed. Why? Uh -oh. Gym closed week. Oh, yeah. That's great. Back to the house. All right. And that doesn't mean you can go back to bed. This is a great time to have the gym closed. They're getting in a monotonous routine of getting up, going to the gym, and it's time to break that up and do something different. This is our backyard. The gym is closed. I need to keep that butt off the ground. Keep the butt off the ground. You don't need a gym to go do sit-ups. You don't need a gym to do jumping jacks. You don't need a gym to get your heart rate up. Amy's the only girl on my team, and what I told Amy is that for her to compete in this game, she's going to have to play like a man. 20, five more, five more. Three, two, one, three, two. Oh, oh, get back up, get back up. I know that I'm pushing myself way beyond anywhere I've ever been before. It's time to bring it on. One more, keep those legs straight. Excellent, you guys. Working you out like a man, huh? Let's go. You can take it. I can take it. Take it. Get out real world you're really gonna have to know what to do what i want to do is wake you up with a really good intense half hour on the stairs at your own pace push yourself down 10 up 15 more 14 work in the outer thigh a little bit of glute three two and one i never ever thought that i would be nostalgic for the gym i think that in my real life when i get back to it i really just want to be a gym rat Let's do some upper body. Look what we can do. Oh, what do you know? Push-ups. This is the first week that I have honestly seen huge changes in their bodies. Wiley, is, his belly is just gone. 
pen is getting a lot smaller and a lot stronger. They're doing really well, and it's exciting for me to start to see these changes. Oh my God! Oh my God! It's a large. Shut up, Pammy. Isn't that insane? Did you try it's that? It's crazy how fast the sizes are going down. It's like the first time I've not worn an extra anything. Like, it's crazy. It's just like a large, just an L. That's it. You know what? Every one of you look totally different. Oh, hi, sexy. I decided to talk to Eric because I still feel like something is holding him back. You want to win this, right? Yeah. You do? Yeah. I know you can do it. You got to just turn that brain off. I know. It's And, I, and then I think about the amount. Like, I've lost 50 pounds, but I got I, that's 25% yeah. of what I have to, you know what I mean? I start getting like, oh, it's insurmountable. And it's harder for you than anybody now. You're the biggest guy in this house. But you can do it. I know what you're capable of. I see the finish line for you. I see you standing there at the finale and just being like, Bob, look at me. I need you to just be on the same page with me right now, okay. dude. I care about you. I never thought about it that way, but you're right. You know, we're big people, but uh, there's things we can do, you know? And, uh, you know, I, I see myself. I'm, things I would never even try, I'm able to do now. Four hundred and seven pounds. Got a lot of work ahead of me. Keep going, that's not the top. You will know where the top is. <laughs> Keep moving, that's right, just dig. You didn't think I was gonna leave you out here by yourself, did you? Where's your heart rate? 130. I'm gonna have Eric do anything that is gonna trigger that thought in his head of, I can't, it's too much. Bell tower's right there, Eric. Oh, now's the time you want to pick it up. Let's get this done with. That's it. Pick it up. Get it done with. Right here. Right here. Right here. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yet. Nah. Now it is. Heart rate. 162. That was good. When your mind gets out of the way, you can do anything. I know what you've got. I know what your capabilities are. You are strong. You're stronger than ever. You know, I'm the biggest guy out here, so each week it's like there's so much pressure. Percentage-wise, I have to put up really big numbers. I just got to hold on and, and, and stay focused and stay here as long as I can. To get double digits out of you this week, Eric, we got to push this hard. Do you want to get double digits this week? Yeah. The 36 players continue to lose weight at home because the top two players will rejoin the competition at the ranch. Here's Linda from Idaho. I am 54 years old. I started out at 214 pounds. I am down to 167. I can't get under that one. There's one part on the scale that just really irritates the hell out of me, and I can't seem to budge that thing. I'm almost starting to get an hourglass figure of waist. I can't believe it. The, the belly is kind of going away. This is what uh, Linda's starting to look like. I have a purpose now to share with anybody that's over 50 years old. It can be done. It is possible. I am doing this, and I will be one of the ones going back to the ranch. Find out if Linda will lose the most weight and make it back to the ranch. This all makes me hungry. The Jim Lock week, it's probably one of the most realistic weeks uh, that we've had at the ranch as far as what life is going to be like coming out of here. You know, topped it off with being able to go out to dinner and eat at El Pollo Loco and order something healthy. We love our salsa. We love oh, a, salsa, yeah. a good salsa bar. I want a um, salad with skinless chicken, chicken breast on top. Skinless boneless chicken breast yeah. with a salad. Yeah, but no cheese. None of the bad stuff. It's easy to get weight off in this house if I've got them eating exactly what I want. But these guys have got to go home. I'm not going to be there every single day for them. You can customize anything on this menu. So don't feel like you're restricted here. You can ask for anything without the rice. Um, I want two of your taco all carbone. Two tacos carbone. Mm -hmm. And um, your small chicken tortilla soup. On the cruise, they were scared to be in the real world. And this time, when they were at El Pollo Loco, they weren't scared anymore. They knew they could do it, and they stepped right up. They asked the right questions, and they were excited about it. Mm, a, little bit, a little bit of this. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. We 
joke about being the Ophers, losing all the challenges so far, but we definitely want to win this challenge. When I first walked in, I was, you know, awestruck. The 84 Olympics were held there, and that's where USC plays their games. Next thing I started doing was trying to figure out what we're going to do as far as the challenge. Welcome to the world-famous Coliseum in Los Angeles, California. I don't know if you realize, but you've been away from home for almost two months now. Pam, how nice would it be to hear from home right now? Well, this challenge is so difficult that you will need all the motivation you can get. So take a look at the big screen. Hi, honey. I just wanted to say hi and give you a little update of things that have been happening here in Tennessee. Natalie, she's still your sweet little girl. <laughs> yeah, that's oh my gosh. We love you and take care. It is motivating definitely to see my family. You know, that that's a big part of the reason that I'm here. Hi, Daddy. I wish you could come back soon. I know you're going to be healthy, giddier, Daddy, you're going to be giddy at. I love you, Daddy. <laughs> Look at her. Love you. We miss you. Little mommy kisses. Little mommy kisses, Hunter. Oh. Bye bye. Little mommy kisses. I love you. Bye. Oh, look at it. Oh, hi. Say hi, Daddy. I don't know if you can tell or not, but Sophie went out and got a little farmer tan for you. Anyway, we've gone to Sophie's house. All of a sudden, I have my wife motivating me, saying, you can do it. It really got me in the right frame of mind. During a sporting event, the fans support their teams by doing the wave. For the challenge, you are all going to do the wave from one end of the stadium to the other. Each team member has to complete 510 waves. Once you work your way around, you have to run down to the field, and the team that crosses the starter finish line first wins. And there is a fantastic reward at the finish line that you can share with your families. The winning team will receive $2,500 in starter performance gear. It's an amazing prize because right now we're all losing so much weight that when we get home, like any of the workout clothes that we had aren't going to fit us anymore. All right, there is no doubt this is going to be one of the most physically demanding challenges. So here to inspire you and cheer you on are your trainers, Bob and Tim. Got it. There's no way that we're going to lose this challenge. This is easy. I want to end on top for once. We really need to just step it up and go. Okay, good luck. Ready, set, go. Go, Marty. Get up those stairs. Be careful. Get up there. Get up there. Take a double if you have to. All the way up. Get up there. Get up to that top. Neck and neck. Hurry up. Sit down. Hustle, hustle. Almost there. Hurry up. Let's go, Eric. Let's go, Eric. Wave. Perfect. Go, 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 go. Ah! Come on, go, 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 go. Oh, ah! Perfect, you guys. Your rhythm is perfect here. Go. Ah! Perfect rhythm. Perfect. You guys are awesome. That's it, Eric. Now, start thinking faster. Wave. Think about increasing your speed now, everybody. Wave. Come on, Eric. Come on. Wave. You've got to pick up speed now, guys. Come on. You look good. So far. Wave. Don't look at that, Eric. Don't look. Don't look at that. Just tear to tear. You're killing me. Wave. It's everything that we talked about, Eric. It's everything that we talked about. Wave. Everything we talked about. Do not give up. Wave. Go. They're booking over there. 
Down, Come on, down. Kid, let's Don't go. stand up. Down, right now. Move it. Down. Come on, guys, we're falling behind. We're falling behind. We're not going to oh, lose this. Let's go. Down. Come on. Guys, we're almost to the end. Let's go. Up. up. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. we got to move quick. Down. Come on, get it, get in there. Ken, come on, baby. Keep going, come on. Keep keep going. Going. Come on. Ken, come on. Ken, we're only as strong as our weakest link. We've got to move it. Come on. If one people can't do it, then we can't. But we can't throw them under the bus. I'm not saying that. Oh, what do you want to do? Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Victory, let's get up. Mike, for three and a half hours. You can just do what you can. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get down. I'm sitting there and I'm looking across the arena and I'm watching Blue go from seat to seat to seat. I just want to reach over and strangle Ken. Come on! Go! Go, 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 go! Guys, we've got to go! Don't you dare give up! Don't you dare give up! We're not giving up, Ken. You can do this. I know you can. We can't. Come on, 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 go! Got to do this. Ken said his back was hurting. I don't know how true that is. I don't really know. The only thing I know about Ken is that he quit. We handed this challenge over to Blue. Son of a bitch. Gosh, dang it. Eric, do you want to win this? Wave. Let's go. Wave. Yes. Wave. This is a personal challenge more than anything. Go, go, come on, come on. Go, go. We decided that we were going to finish strong. Go. The red team absolutely could have won if Ken wasn't there. Come on, hustle it. Even though we're not there, let's not take a big gosh. We can do it. One more. Oh, wave. Now go down these stairs. Come on, guys. Come on. You don't only want to win, you want to kick their ass, Brian. Come on. This is your challenge. Run. Yes. Let's go. Yes. Almost there, guys. Don't give up. Let's go. Let's Great, go, man. Yes. 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 <laughs> oh my God! I never want to say that wave again. Winning was the best feeling that we've had. It's hard to go 0 for 4 and know that America's going to see us lose. So we had to get the win. So it felt great to get that victory. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Good job. Let's go, girl. Run it. Nice hustle, ladies. Good job, you guys. Good job. If my legs had fallen off, I would have finished that challenge. I would have drugged my body over those chairs with my arms, and then I would have drugged my bloody stump across that finish line. A couple of my teammates were extremely upset with me. They're just going to have to get over it because I did what I could do. I did my best, you know. Awesome. Bring it in. We go into the kitchen, ready to get something to eat, and here is this chef standing here. Okay, guys, I hope you're all hungry. <laughs> yes. yes. Today, I'm going to share some of these recipes with you. We had two things we got to choose from. The red team wanted to make burgers, the blue team wanted to make pizzas, and so uh, she taught us how. These are just low-fat whole wheat tortillas. A quarter cup of sauce on each of these. I've grated the cheese really finely because you can use a lot less and still spread it over the entire pizza. You can put as many veggies on these as you want. And then here we have sausage. It's made out of extra lean ground pork. I season it the way you would season sweet Italian sausage. The chef prepared some meals that, to me, were realistic. Let's face it, you're not going to eat plain grilled chicken and plain fish with steamed vegetables for every meal. You'll go bananas. So basically, this is kind of my version of one of the most popular fast food burgers. I call it the almost fast food burger because it's much healthier for you. This is 96% lean ground beef. So four ounces of this only has 4.5 grams of fat. We're using whole wheat buns, of course, which you definitely want to do. Your typical fast food burger would have about 560 calories and 30 grams of fat. This one has about 280 calories and nine grams of fat. Really? Oh, wow. Yes. That's really good. Mm. The cheeseburger that Chef Devin made is something I would totally make at home. It's actually one of those things I'll probably make at barbecues, and I'll be saving all my friends a couple pounds, and they won't even know it.
This is your last chance workout. I gotta burn as many calories I can without using the gym. The last chance workout was the first last chance workout to be done outside of the gym. And what I wanted to do was do another in-home workout. Grab the table, move it. We're clearing out this room. Nice. Last chance, here we go. Make this a good set. Five, six, seven, eight. Hard workout. Moving furniture. Excellent. Ugh. Is that heavy? Ah. It's your last chance workout. You're not in the gym, so let's take advantage of this whole grass spot. Let's start moving this furniture back in. Last chance workout, you guys. Last chance workout. This weigh-in is going to be nothing like any of the other weigh-ins. I'm pretty nervous because uh, this was just such a strange week, being out of the gym. I just don't know what my body has in it. I am totally nervous. Our eating, I don't think everybody on the team did their best at eating. I know I didn't. I'm really, really concerned about the weigh-in. Great. Blue team, how do you feel? You won your first challenge. Good. It's good. All right, before you all get on the scale, remember, it's not just about how many pounds you lose. In order to win the weigh-in and avoid elimination, your team has to have the greatest percentage of weight loss. And the team that loses tonight will have to send a member of their team home. Hi. Last week you lost five pounds. Well, good. At least I get it out of the way, right? Come on, Kai. Come on, Kai. I don't know why, but every week it gets worse to get on that scale. I get sick to my stomach every single week. Your previous weight was 228, and your current weight is... When Red is weighing in first, all that anticipation is building and just nerves are, you're just on edge. Your previous weight was 228 and your current weight is... ...223, you lost five pounds. Yay! <laughs> I'm stoked, this is great, I'm happy. I was really worried about this week, so. Your face is so thin. Oh, oh, thank you. Good job, nice Kai. Job. Ken, last week you put your team over the top with a 10-pound weight loss. Let's see how you did this week. If we lose this weigh-in, one of the guys is going home. And more than likely, if I don't get the biggest loser numbers, it's going to be me. Come on, Ken. Okay, Ken. Previous weight was 307. Current weight... You lost six more pounds. Yay! That's good. I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. I've lost a total of 57 pounds since I've been here. I'm not going to be big dog anymore. I'm going to be lean dog, you know, so I'm, I'm ecstatic. I'm just happy about it. Okay, Ken, with your weight loss, that brings your red team's total to 11 pounds so far. Cam. Last week you lost five pounds. Let's see what happened this week. I'm thinking, please do not let me be the first person this season to gain weight on this scale. Pam, your previous weight was 221. Your current weight is... 218. You lost three pounds. Yay! The red team's numbers start to, to drop, and I, I thought we could do it. Heather, last week you lost five pounds. It is your turn. Come on, Heather. Heather, your previous weight was 196. Your current weight is... 193. You lost three more pounds. Take it. It's great. 
I was nervous when we weighed in as a team because, you know, we had some low numbers. It could go either way. You're just hoping and praying for the fact that it will swing your way. Heather, with your three pound weight loss, that gives your team a total of 17 pounds so far. Wiley, last week you lost five pounds. Let's see how you did this week. Okay, Wiley, your previous weight was 264, and your current weight is... And how long has it been? Uh, 20 years. 20 years? About 20 years. I didn't get nervous until Wiley went. And Wiley lost nine pounds. And I thought, wow, we have, we have a lot to lose. All right, with Wiley's nine pound weight loss, that brings your team's total to 26 pounds. Good job, Wiley. As a team, your total percentage of weight loss this week is 2.14%. Great job. Good. Really good. Blue team, in order to win this weigh-in and avoid elimination, your team needs to lose more than 30 pounds. I thought we could do it, you know. We, we kind of looked at it. We said, all right, six pounds a piece. Bobby, last week you lost five pounds. Okay. Let's see how you did. Good luck, skinny man. <laughs> Bobby, your previous weight was 277. Your current weight is... <laughs> 273, you lost four more pounds. That'll work. Week to week, you just don't know really what to expect. Uh, I feel like I worked harder than four pounds. I mean, it's just frustrating. Bobby, since arriving at the ranch, you have lost a total of 48 pounds. Yeah, That's great. Marty, last week you lost seven pounds. Let's see how you did this week. Go, Marty. Your previous weight was 315, and your current weight is... 8, you lost another 7 pounds this week. I lost 7 pounds this week, and I'm, I'm proud of it. I'm, I'm on a roll, and I want to keep going. Okay, with Marty's weight loss, that brings your team's total to 11 pounds. You have three more members on the blue team left to be weighed. Remember, as a team, you have to lose more than 30 pounds in order to win this weigh-in. Brian, last week you were the blue team's biggest loser with a nine-pound weight loss. Let's see how you did this week. Every time a blue member steps on that scale, I get more nervous. It's just, it's, it's wild. We can't tell what the body's going to do. Brian, your previous weight was 261, and your current weight is... 55. Yeah, you lost six pounds. Good job, buddy. Good job, bro. That's great. Yeah, I'm very happy. Good job, Brian. Where you go, man? All right, with Brian's weight loss, that brings your team's total to 17 pounds. You have two more members of the blue team left to be weighed. Remember, you have to lose more than 30 pounds as a team to avoid elimination. Amy, last week you lost four pounds. Let's see how you did this week. Amy drops huge numbers every week. I didn't realize how close it was actually going to be until they only had two people left. If they each lose seven pounds, we're done. Very nervous. Amy, your previous weight is 223, and your current weight is... 
previous weight was 223, and your current weight is 219. You lost another four pounds. That's awesome. Four pounds pops up, and I'm just thinking, Eric can easily take 10. Amy, since arriving, you have lost a total of 41 pounds. Very, yeah. That's fantastic. I wanted to break that 40 pound barrier tonight, so I'm very excited that I did. All right, with Amy's weight loss, that brings the blue team's total to 21 pounds. Okay, it all comes down to you, Eric. You have to lose more than nine pounds in order to avoid elimination and win this weigh-in. Last week, you lost six pounds. Let's see how you did. At that point, with Eric getting ready to go on the scale, I, I was very, very nervous because it was just so neck and neck. Let's go, Big E. Eric, your previous weight was 358. Your current weight is... 351, you lost seven pounds. Oh. Yeah! Red team, you win the weigh-in. You lost seven pounds, which is great. Well, you know, I wanted to, you know, win it for the team, you know. It's obvious, you know, it's terrible. <sighs> Eric, so far you have lost a total of 56 pounds. Yeah, well, you guys all, you all did a good job. It was very, very close. Hmm. We all worked so hard. This is by far the worst I've ever felt, and uh, it's low. I, um, no one, nobody in this house deserves to go home. It's, uh, it's, it's tough bullet to bite. So, the red team wins the weigh-in. Good job. Thank you. Back-to-back -back weigh ins Oh, man. I'm so ecstatic right now, it's unbelievable. Brian, for the second week in a row, you are the blue team's biggest loser. So you just won immunity again. Thank you. I know that this must be a very hard loss for you guys. And unfortunately, you have to send one of your team members home. So you have until tomorrow night to decide who is weighing you down. I'll see you then. I just wasn't expecting us to lose tonight. I think that um, we're going to have to make some big changes this week. This, this is just ridiculous that we lost. Nope. Three pounds. Three pounds? The way it ended, it was, I was the last one to go on the scale, and uh, they said I needed to get a ten. Felt like I had it, you know? And then mm -hmm. I got a seven. So we lose. Eric's a big guy, and he just hadn't pushed himself hard enough to get that big number. He even said it today, I'm the biggest guy on the team, I should be throwing up big numbers, and uh, it's true. He should. So have you made up your mind? Yeah. Who? I'm not going to blow smoke up anybody, but I wish I could go to Marty right now. I said, Marty, I'm sorry, bud, but I'm voting for you because you're one of my biggest threats. I picked Marty to win this thing. That's not a decision that's best for the team. And I think we have a stronger likelihood of winning if Marty's here. And I hate to do it, but Eric's gone. The game has started. The game has started. The game is here. Okay, the game is here then. The game is here. The only reason we're sending Marty home is because we're worried what he's going to do to us eventually. So shall we discuss? Yeah, take the floor. I feel like this is where I have to be. I have so much weight to lose. Um, I mean, I was over 400 pounds coming out here. And I'm 350 pounds now. I mean, it's still a lot. I don't want to go home yet. I'm... <laughs> It's tough to just say, well, you know, I want to send Marty home, you know, because I want to be here and let's get rid of him so I can stay. But that's what it's coming down to. I've gained 100 pounds in four years, and I fear getting back into the routine of old Marty, who thinks about everybody else but himself. And that scares me. And that's why I need to be here. I knew exactly what I was doing. Now, I got a knot in my gut. I don't know.
Good evening, everybody. How are you doing? Hello. You should be really proud of yourselves this week. Those were some really impressive results. But unfortunately, tonight, someone has to be eliminated. As we go around the table, you will each reveal whom you have chosen to send home and why. Brian, since you had the highest percentage of weight loss this week, you cannot be eliminated. Marty, who are you voting for and why? The person I am voting for is somebody who, who I love. And the reason why um, I'm voting for them is because, um, strictly numbers, um, this person has had the lowest percentage of weight loss since we have come to the ranch. And that's why I'm voting for Eric. And that's one vote for you. Amy, who are you voting for and why? This most recent weigh in, um, we lost more pounds and we lost because of our percentage. And at this point in the game, I think the blue team needs to stay strong and do whatever we need to do to stay out of the elimination room next week. And that's why my vote is for Eric. That is two votes for you, Eric. One more vote and you will be eliminated. All right, now it's your turn. Who are you voting for and why? I think this person uh, is very young and I think they've learned a lot here, and I think they're gonna be able to go home and continue on the path um, that they're on now. And for these reasons, I've chosen Amy. You look a little surprised. I'm very surprised. Okay, Amy, that is one vote for you. Bobby, who are you voting for? Uh, tonight, the person I'm voting for first of all, doesn't deserve to go home. Quite honestly, the game for me has started and I've got to figure out what's best going to suit me. And that's why I've chosen. Coming up, the biggest loser club.com transformation moment. See for the first time what the eliminated player looks like today. The biggest loser club. It's changing lives. Tonight's recipes can be found in the new Biggest Loser cookbook that contains over 125 great recipes from our experts, contestants, and me. Bobby, who are you voting for? This was a last minute decision. Unfortunately, tonight I had to vote for Amy. It honestly was a change at the very last minute. All right, Amy, that is two votes for you. And Eric, that is two votes for you. Brian, if you vote for anyone other than Amy or Eric, there will be a tie, and the red team will decide which member of the blue team is going home. Okay, Brian, who are you voting for and why? I think everything that everybody said here at the table tonight is true. As far as the way we're looking at this vote, uh, it involves the game. It involves us as individuals. It involves moving forward. I hate to say with this person gone, but it just, in my mind, it came up this way. That's why I voted for Amy. That is three votes for you, Amy. I'm sorry you are not the biggest loser. And you look like you did not see this coming. Not from a million miles away. It doesn't make sense to me that they would think that I, by getting rid of their lightest person, I would help their percentages. So I've lost 41 pounds since I've been here. I, I, just, don't, I just don't understand. I, I seriously am upset. They know I've worked hard. There's no doubt about it. Everybody's worked hard. It's a, I said that. I there's think. no doubt about it. It, do, it, it, doesn't make, it. it doesn't even make sense on how they're going to, this is going to help them in the game, you know? So I think you guys made the wrong decision tonight. Because I do care about the blue team and I do care about everything, I hope this, you don't go and regret this next week. I lost the most out of any girl here. I'm sorry you have to say goodbye to your teammates. And congratulations on losing 41 pounds. Sorry, I voted for you, so I can't lose each other out. I know. But now still... these bastards. No. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. 
I have to say, I didn't believe any of you guys when you were telling Amy why you voted her off. Is that really why? Absolutely. I mean, she lost 41 pounds, and that's amazing sprint. But, I mean, she has less of an area to go. And we just thought about going forward, we have to put up big percentages. I mean, she kills herself in the gym, kills herself for that four. Right. And every week, it might be a three, it might be a two. So it was, this is true. Well, continue to work hard and stick to your diets. And I won't see you here next week. Yeah, and you will not have to face another tough decision, right? Right. All right, well, have a good night. I didn't think in a million years that my name was going to be on anybody's platters tonight. I came to the ranch weighing 260 pounds. Now I weigh 219 pounds. I've lost 41 pounds total since being here at the ranch. And that feels phenomenal. I think I'm ready for the real world. I know that I've learned so much here at the ranch and I know I've changed. I know that I have that fire inside me to succeed. So I know I'm going to continue when I go home. One of the things that I am proudest of is that I had the courage to get up off that couch, to leave my life, and to come here and change my life. I have lost 88 pounds since I first stepped foot on that Biggest Loser Ranch, and I feel amazing. I've been running, I've been kayaking, I've done two triathlons. I have discovered that diet and exercise can actually be fun. I love going shopping with my girlfriends now because I used to wear a size 22 when I got to the ranch. It's a this is not just diet and exercise for me. This is a new way of life, and I love it. Next Wednesday, Go! the biggest loser teams are challenged with their most dangerous stunt ever. No! 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 And at the weigh-in, everyone's weight loss is astounding. Go to NBC.com now to get updates on the 36 at-home contestants. Because what the remaining players don't know is that in just two weeks, they will rejoin the game. Say hello to your new competition. All new Biggest Loser next Wednesday, 9, 8 central on NBC.